Hey, all my fashionistas and fashionistas out there. It's your plus size fashionista. Mm hmm Yep. Um, this video, y'all, is just really quick. Um, I know you guys have heard about, um, the Kim Kardashian, uh, divorce or breakup or whatever you want to call it. Here's my take on it. This is what I feel. I feel like everybody was asking me, how do I feel about it? I feel like... Y'all asking, acting like it's such a surprise. It isn't. I mean, I knew it wasn't going to last. I mean, I wish her all the luck and all her future endeavors and her personal career and all that. But I knew that it wasn't going to work. And, you know, that's just how it is. Y'all know I don't sugarcoat shit. I keep it real. Um, I also feel like it was planned. I feel like the E-Networks paid her to do it. And, of course, her, you know, being a hustler, hustler, you know. One thing about her, I can't knock. She is a hustler. And she don't play about her dollars, her, 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 her skrilla, her ends. She don't play about that. So, I, I, I commend her on that, so to speak. Um, What else? I just feel like, also, she's trying to play catch up with her siblings, um, Chloe and Courtney, I feel like she's trying to, you know, emulate or imitate uh, Chloe because she's married to Lamar. And I also feel like because they have, you know, a real relationship, real love, they didn't rush anything. Keyword is not rushing. A real relationship takes time. You have to get to know each other to see, you know, if you guys, you know, compliment each other. That's what a real relationship is. You don't rush it. You don't force it. You just let shit happen naturally. That's a relationship. And I also feel like she really rushed it. She didn't take her time to get to know him. Like I said, again, I really do think that he paid her and y'all, you know, they made a quick little match making type of thing and it is what it is on that one that's what i feel about that i also feel like she's jealous of courtney too because she has a baby you know granted you know she's not married to scott but you know she she has a baby and i do feel like kim she is 31 years old and i do feel like she feel like her Time is ticking and, you know, she ready to be somebody's wifey, wifed up, or somebody's baby mama or have somebody babies. Now, I hope y'all know that this is not Kim's first marriage. Uh, she was married to a record producer named Damon Thomas, so this is not her first marriage. That one was quickly annulled. But, um, yeah, I mean, this has got to be one of the quickest relationships I ever, I mean, marriages in history um i really feel like you know she should really be with reggie bush i feel like that's who she wants to be with i feel like you know she's trying to you know get with men to take her mind off of him but let's face it I mean, I really like them as a couple. I thought they were really cute. I think they should just cut the bullshit, be together, stop playing with each other, stop hiding your feelings because everybody know y'all want to be together. So just stop the malarkey, stop the bullshit, and get back together. Also, I feel ladies, you know, don't rush and get in a relationship and, oh, it's going to be my man and marry him. You don't know him yet. Take your time. Trust me, I've been there. I almost got married to my son's father. You you think you know somebody, but you don't have no clue until you actually living with somebody. That's how you know their true colors. You think everything's, you know, fine and dandy because you're all together. Oh, I love him. That's my boo. We're going to be together. That's my husband. Whatever, whatever. But you don't actually know a person till y'all actually start living together. That's how you really know his true intentions and his true character, his real self. I'm telling y'all ladies, been or done that. But I just feel, you know, I'm not hating on her. I do like Kim, but I think she's becoming a media whore. Granted, you know, she's a reality star or whatever, you know, you want to call her. But I just feel like she's just a media whore. She just needs to calm down, take her time. I mean, she just bops from man to man, and that's not good because that's a hoe. 
that's her tendency. So she just needs to calm it down. I know, you know, your little, your little cho-cha gets wet and you want some, but stop hopping from man to man. That's not cute because you will be labeled as a hoe. And you don't want to be labeled as a hoe. So I just think, you know, she just needs to, before she try to get into another relationship, she just needs to find herself and see what Kim wants, see what she really wants. Instead of jumping in something, because to me, marriage is not nothing to play with. That's serious. It's a heart attack to me. Death do its part. Ain't no annulments, no divorces, no none of that. People nowadays, they just jump in and out of marriages like you change your panties or you change your bra or you change your clothes or something. To me, marriage is really sacred. It's not nothing to play with. But people nowadays get this connotation like marriage ain't shit. Marriage is just whatever. To me... I emulate my parents. My parents have been together 31 years. Nowadays, people aren't getting married and staying together like they used to back in the day. But that just shows you, y'all, times is changing. I'm not saying, you know, I'm not knocking marriages because I want to get married one day. I'm not knocking that. What I am saying is, ladies, before you go to that step, that's the ultimate commitment for me. Take your time. Get to know who your mate. Get to know that person before you actually tie that knot because that's not nothing to play with. And then when you get divorced, you got to bring on kind of lawyers and all that extra stuff. And you don't want to go that route. Just take your time and know that person. You know, if you're not ready for marriage, don't do that yet till you know you're 100% sure you want to get married. You know, just take your time. Just get to know your mate. That's all I got to say before you go to that step because that's not nothing to play with y'all that's all i wanted to say that's my take on the whole kim k chris humphreys issue so hope y'all like this video i want y'all to do one thing for me stay fly stay fashionable for less don't forget to tell a friend and tell a friend to subscribe to my channel yet and oh yeah this is a different setup i'm in my kitchen right now just want to do this quick little video so yeah my hair did a braid out. Y'all know what a braid out is. Search it up on the YT. Really easy. Just took three strands of my hair. Braided it. Used some setting lotion. Kept it in for two days. I should have kept it in longer. But yeah. Lips. It's from Secret Kisses. Lipstick is naked. Lip gem is naked. Google them. Secret Kisses. Go straight to the site. Love it. Recommend it to everybody. They're $14.99 each. Lip glosses, lip candies, lip gems. They have 24 different um, colors. And um, for lip glosses, lip candies, lip gems, they have 18, uh, no, 13 different um, colors. So, yeah, y'all, that's it. Not trying to remember y'all today, but I know I'm going to get questions on that. And my... Um, Shambhala inspired bracelet is from Posh and Chic Boutique. I did a review on them. Check that video out. I got all her links. Check her out. And I got this Hello Kitty watch from eBay. Like $5. Bangles from um, Torrid and um, Rainbow. So yeah, y'all. That is it. Earrings from the Sweet Escape. And um, Forever 21. I got some studs in. So, yeah, y'all, that's it. I love y'all. Bye.